Hi, my name's Dave, and today we're going to be looking at a Wipco trailer power supply. The trailer lights started flickering uh, light and dim for the last couple of years, and it got so annoying that it was barely able to see during the day. So I decided to pull it out. Now, first of all, Wipco or Wipco has an awesome uh, video on YouTube. I'll put the comments in the bottom on how to remove this unit from the power supply in the trailer but once you get it out you can see fairly clearly that these two caps the large filter caps are a little bit swollen well actually a lot swollen if you can see from that angle the bulge that's in the top and if you look closely enough you can actually see and zoom in there how it's actually pulled away from the side so, the other problem I have, you can see, is lots of dust in the uh, fan. So that probably doesn't help the cooling situation on that. So, I had to run down to my local electronic supply place, but unfortunately they didn't carry the caps there. 820 uh, microfarad by 200 volts. So next we'll try replacing those and see what happens. Now, just a quick view of these caps. You can see from the top how much they've bulged with age. Slightly better view. And that's probably a good indication that they've pretty well done. One of the reasons why I'm rebuilding this power supply is because uh, replacement boards are kind of expensive. Uh, one from Amazon from 218 and that's the cheapest I've seen for a 55 amp uh, 8900 power supply. I've seen them up to $350 just for a replacement unit. Obviously before reinstalling the box you want to make sure that uh, your AC supply is disconnected and you want to make sure that the negative wire off your battery is also disconnected. It's stuck in there just to make sure there's no way it's going to accidentally make contact. And here I am about to install the power converter into the entire unit. I was smart enough, thankfully, to take a couple of pics with my cell phone just before I disconnected just to make sure I knew where all the wires were. Sorry, it's a afterthought to this video, but eh, probably a good idea. Okay, so I connected everything up in the power supply box connected up the battery and connected up the AC and nothing happened and I panicked so checking connections and everything everything looked good went out to my battery connected up the multimeter and discovered that I had pretty close to zero volts on it uh, well that's not good what's happening there but then I went back into the trailer check the bus bolts oh and we're getting up to a charge now so I guess if uh, you have to leave it on powered on for about two to three minutes uh, so it can boost enough the battery because if the battery is dead um, doesn't look like it'll do anything else for your trailer now it's starting to take a charge because the battery was perfectly flat uh, when I checked it earlier today because of sitting over the winter but now that that's working and I flick on the power switch and I have lights! Awesome! And the best part is they're not flickering. All you're seeing there is a little dimming from the camera from pointing at it, but they look nice and bright. And now that I have lights, the last thing I want to do is check, do a load test. So I'm just going to turn on our other lights in the bedroom. And if you can hear that, the fan for the power supply is turned on to cool off the regulator since it's uh, running most of the lights in the trailer and charging the battery at the same time. So, I think that's been a pretty good success. 
for what thirty dollars worth of caps including shipping which I paid a premium for compared to 250 bucks for a new inverter one of the last things I did when I replaced the power supply was I noticed when I have three or more lights on in the trailer I usually hear the fan go on so to put a little less load I bought some LED replacement bulbs which should put a little less load on the unit. I'm going to turn them on and show you the one on the left is just a standard incandescent where the one on the right is an LED. Now it seems a little less bright uh, but hopefully it'll be a lot less load on the trailer and the power supply. These LED bulbs uh, obviously use a lot less energy than the incandescent bulbs but what was interesting was I went to a local uh, trailer dealer and they were asking $18.99 for one of these where I was able to get a whole package on eBay for about $25 shipped for uh, what I get 20 of those bulbs so uh, always obviously shop around but uh, definitely make a difference on the power draw on the converter and on the battery and on the trailer so hopefully this summer I can save a little bit on electricity